first day of the rally, we're setting off, finally adventuring out, and it starts to rain, like downpoured, and we we let it sit for a while, but we're finally on the road. Actually kind of sick. Check her out. There is red and blues in front of us, but it's not to catch us and behind us. They're actually giving us a, an escort through the city um, so we can leave safely and uh, not get lost. So it's actually kind of sick. Um, big fire thing. And then we got our schedule for today. Made the schedule. Welcome to Rally Force Day 1. First stop is a spot that we're going to go eat at lunch. It's about two hours or so. Checkpoint 2, uh, hour 26. I'm not sure where that is. Um, three is another hour and 40 for 29 minutes and then our fifth stop is an hour so um, so far busy day I think we had a little late start because of the rain but um, we should be able to make it out but one of these stops is the drag strip I think is one of the yeah drag strip? Yep. yeah so we're gonna be going to the drag strip in the rain well hopefully it's dry by then um, and we can at least do a few a few runs I really want to see the uh, the Hellcat uh, the Hellcat run I just want to ride in it. I'm going to ride in it sometime this rally, I swear, and I'll get it on video. So um, we're going to make that happen. And they're letting us run. They are running red light. <laughs> Police escorts. Alright boys, we finally made it to, I don't even know what checkpoint, maybe second, third, I have no idea, I haven't been recording much because we've literally been, we've just been trying to play catch up, we've been so lost this entire time. This is our first, uh, first little location, keep it. Did it go? Oh, Man, we're actually about to have some lunch, which is good because I'm freaking starving.
What was the Mercedes? 12 what? 12, 12 six. six. Not bad. <laughs> As y'all can see, we're at a drag strip. Fully, 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 fully empty. Fully empty. Literally nothing besides the rally cars. Kind of sick. I already had some runs, I'm not gonna lie. We got here and they kind of just went straight onto the uh, straight onto the track. So I just recorded a bunch of stuff. So y'all probably already seen that. But this car, I don't remember seeing it. I'm gonna show y'all this because it's actually really sick. We didn't have the, the Hellcat didn't run, but it would probably be the fast car here. But this, I think, is this in the McLaren and the uh, the Porsche. Her right there are the fastest cars. But now this thing is so sick. C63. See through hood. And this M4. So sick. Manual M4 too. Man was struggling on the track, but he got some, he got some good runs in. But yeah, that's kind of fire. And this 12C just got done running. He did decent. But yeah, crazy enough, we got to go all the way up there to the top of that little watchtower, go to the drag strip, see all the runs. Everybody did their thing. My buddy ran his C63 twice. First run was 11, 12.6. The second one was 12.5, I think. Yeah. 12.5. 12.5. Not bad. Not bad, not bad for a C63. I'm not going to lie. Stop. Stop. Fully dude. stock. Literally nothing done to it. Bone dry stock. Now, nothing. don't know this, though. The C63, the regular, has 469 horsepower. So this is 469. If you get the one with the S on it, the C63S, it adds another 40 horsepower. So you're looking at 503. So, I'd like to get a C63S next. We'll see. We'll yeah, I see. agree. Because this thing feels a little bit laggy on the road, but like low key, I mean, it performed out here. I mean, it launched, it spun just a tiny bit because of the Pirelli P0s he has on here for whatever reason. But uh, once he gets like some good tires and maybe like a tune in some downpipes, this thing will be moving. I'm sure it's a tune too. Yeah, it could it absolutely. Exactly. But I think they are rounding us up, so I think we're about to head on out. And these people move fast, so we gotta kind of just hop in our cars and like pray that we find the find the way. But uh, hopefully we uh, we all stay together and we'll pick the camera back up whenever we get there. Uh, we got a whole crowd of uh, a bunch of people. I don't really don't know why we have so many people out. I guess there's an event for like, uh, like, like racing, but not like street racing, like cars. It's like what my boy Wiley's specializes in is like actually feet foot race. And apparently they had a big foot race here. So there's a bunch of people just kind of out here. It makes it look like we're like super famous or well known. Uh, but yeah, we pulled up and it looked like we got a whole car show over here. It looks like show them, show them some.
super stressful drive, but we made it. Yeah, we made dues. We made dues. Two hours later, we made it back to the hotel. Hopefully, uh, we can go get checked in. Everything goes smoothly. We can go in there, take a shower because the boys been putting in some work. We are sweaty, sweaty boys. Mercedes is actually doing really well for the rally. I'm not gonna lie. The only bad part about this is somehow the gas mileage is literally disgustingly got off. I don't understand how bad of a freaking gas guzzler this is. What's going on, YouTube? We're here today in Davenport, Iowa. Just arrived at our hotel. Look at all these cars. Shout out to all of our fans that showed up for us. Come out and uh, really be here to unite the community. This is what uh, the goal of the rally is to do, is to bring out families, bring out people. Um, and as you can tell, you know, the community definitely showed out for us and really appreciate that. So, so what do you do for G-Force Rally? Go ahead and tell, tell, tell everybody what you do for G-Force Rally. I'm just the janitor. <laughs> <laughs> 